Hi, I'm L.E. Carmichael, Canadian scientist and the author of 22 STEM books for kids, including The Boreal Forest, a year in the world's largest land biome, which is illustrated by José Biseo and published by Kids Can Press. The Boreal Forest is also one of 10 books that has been nominated for the Yellow Cedar Award in the 2021 Forest of Reading. Woohoo! <laughs> Now, the other books in the Yellow Cedar category looked so interesting that even though I can't vote, I just couldn't resist reading all of them. So in this series of videos, I am going to tell you about one of these great books and some of the reasons why I think it's awesome. Today's Yellow Cedar book is Hawk's Kettle, Puffin's Wheel, and Other Poems of Birds in Flight by Susan Van Grink and Mark Hoffman. One of the first things that I noticed about this book is how beautiful it is. I really love the way the words and the art work together on the page to reinforce the ideas in the book. So for example, the way the puffins were wheeling around the sidebar um, reinforced that idea of going in circles. And it reminded me as well of the way that dolphins and whales circle around a school of fish. Um, and the peregrine page, if I can just show you that real quick, sort of. There we go. <laughs> the poem and the bird look like they're diving at the same time, and I just thought that was so neat. Another thing that I really loved about this book was the way that it made me think about and appreciate things that I've seen birds do in a new way, in a way I hadn't thought about them before. For me, this is one of the reasons why we need good nonfiction, is that it draws our attention to the extraordinary things that are happening in our ordinary everyday lives. Things that we might otherwise be too distracted or too busy to notice. Finally, and to my great surprise, this book made me like Canada geese just a little bit better. I will be honest, like most Canadians, I consider these birds mostly a goose booby nuisance. But I loved the comparison of the geese to a skein of thread that's unspooling across the sky. And the fact that goslings can talk to their parents right through the shells of their eggs that is super cool. Thanks so much for tuning in today and for participating in the Forest of Reading. I hope you're having a fantastic time reading and discussing and most especially voting for your favorite books. We'll see you next time.